today. How many of y'all know that God is faithful and that God is good? How many of y'all know that he's good not just sometimes, but he's good all the time? And he's a God that we can trust. He's a God that we can depend on. He's a God that we can serve. He's a God that is consistent in what he does. And every day he gives us not only brand new mercies, but he breathes life into us, right? But he breathes life into the earth, right? The stars did what it needed to do last night. The moon did what it needed to do, which was bring about life. The sun is shining because God spoke it into existence. And today we have so much to be thankful and grateful for. And I don't know about you, but I came here with a heart of gratitude. And Yes, that God. Into the house today. So I don't know about you, but I came to praise him in the good. I came to praise him in the bad. I came to praise him while I'm up. I came to praise him while I'm down. I came to praise him when things weren't going so well. I came to praise him because he's just God. He's still good. And everything that he did concerning me this morning, he didn't change his mind. It was already ordained. It was already blessed because he says in his word, this is the day that he made. The world didn't make it. Man didn't make it. But this is that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it with a heart of gratitude and a heart of thanksgiving. If you know that He's done good by you, every single moment, every single second, even when it didn't seem like it, you couldn't figure it out. Stand to your feet and give your God praise. The world is everything else, but we know God that we serve Him. Not only is He great, but He's wonderful. He's your Prince of Peace. He is your wonderful Counselor. He counsels you in the nighttime. We 
release the cares, the issues of life that flows from our heart, Lord, we just turn it over to you this morning. Because we weren't designed to carry it, Lord. You said the chastisement of our peace was upon your shoulders. But by your stripes, Lord, we know that we are healed, set free, and delivered because of the love and power. The love and power, Lord. So today, God, as we come into the sanctuary, God, remove anything that was standing between you and us, God, that you will be worshipped to the highest, God, because we want your glory in this place. Fill this place, Lord. Let your glory transfill this atmosphere, Lord. Come in, Lord Jesus, and be King of Kings, Lord, that we may bow before our King this morning, God. Let the anointing fall on this place today like never before. Anointing, like God, anointing. Worship the wind from the north, the south, the east, and the west, God. That even our praise and our worship that will go up on one accord. That even the people outside will get touched. Even the people outside will be delivered. Even there will be a healing that will manifest, God. Because of the worship of your people, God, coming together on one accord. And Lord, for those that cannot be here this morning, God, we ask that you would touch them. Meet them right where they are, God. Fill their hearts, fill their rooms, God. Fill their spirits, God. That they may see and know that the love of Father is with them. Never leave me for the city. Never alone. But you are right there in the midst of their struggles. You are right in the midst of their turmoil. You are the right there in the midst of wherever they are, God. Meet the need, God. Because all it is is one touch from you. Yes. And they will be delivered and healed, God, by your word. It is your word that is a light unto our feet, God. We thank you, Father God, for the word that has been prepared today. We thank you for our pastors. We thank you for this house. We thank you for their faithfulness. We thank you that they show up each and every Sunday. We thank you, God, that they show up on Wednesday. They teach, God. So, God, this morning, we ask for a special blessing for our pastors. That you will continue to fill them and keep them, God. That you would give them strength for the journey and the path that you have them on to lead the people in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for their diligence, God, and their sacrifices, Lord. So, God, we lift them up to you right now in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Those that cannot be here today, God, you know where they are. Yes. You know what they stand in need of. And God, I ask that you just show up. And it says just show up, God, and just meet them and touch them and bless them in Jesus' name. We thank you for the word and the speaker that will go forth today. Yes. We ask that you would do the woman of God from on high with Holy Ghost power and authority in Jesus' name. That you would calm her fears and anxieties because, God, you've already done it. It is already done. Prepare our hearts and minds to receive, God. Dig up the follow ground that we would receive that word and that will go deep and will spread wide, God, in Jesus' name. But that it would be that word that we will continue to speak about for days, weeks, and months to come. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. We give you glory, honor, and praise. And we say thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. To God be the glory. God be the glory. We pray to the Lord. We thank God for another day. And just being in the house, it's a beautiful day. I pray everybody had a wonderful weekend. Yes. And it can't do anything else but get better. As my pastor say, get gooder and gooder. Gooder and gooder and gooder. Good. Every time. Get gooder and gooder. Now, I don't know if that's the picture, but we're going to use gooder and gooder, right? Gooder and gooder, yeah. Amen. Right now, we're going to ask our praise and worship team to come forward at this time. And we can prepare for praise and worship. Amen. Come on, let's get to your feet this morning. Let's pray the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. And His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. presence today yes, in this are. assembly of his people. And so, Lord, we just thank you because you're worthy. And yeah. so, um, the Praise and Worship team is um, sending off yet another um, postgraduate college student. Mm -hmm. Out. So we're grateful to God that He has opened that door for her. Yes. Amen. Yes, God. Another one. Another one. And the Holy Spirit gave me this song. I think it was this morning or last night. And we dedicate this song to Ray. Yes. Amen. 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 Just let the words of the song minister to you.
not loneliness because Amen. God is always with us. Yes, God. You have to always keep that in mind because the enemy will tell you that it was just you. They don't care. They're not here. They didn't show up. You know, if they cared about you, they'd be here. Look at you all by yourself. Well, I know a God. And I know a Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Come on. So, so, don't you ever believe that lie because it's a straight up lie. And that in and of itself, he's worthy of it all. Yes. Yes. Worthy of it all. Yes.
Elder Mel said at the very beginning, she said, as my pastor would say, it gets gooder and gooder and yeah. gooder. Yeah. And some of y'all look like, what kind of church is this? What kind of English do they speak? Well, your pastor is an Englishman. I know what I'm saying. I know exactly what I said. But now I'm hoping that you guys can understand what gooder and gooder and gooder means. Hmm. Because yeah. the Bible says is that we're supposed to reduplicate what Jesus does with us. Yeah. As I'm talking about gooder and gooder, yeah. and I'm looking at Ray, I'm reflecting. It was six, five, seven years ago that I was supporting her in high school. You know, she came in, a shy little girl. She loved to sing, but she wasn't really confident in her singing. And the next thing you know, I'm at her high school play. She's doing Shrek. I got pictures with her. She's doing Shrek. The next thing you know, as we continue to support her, who's this pastor that keeps showing up at all these high schools? Who's this pastor that shows up at games and plays? The pastor that believes in what y'all do. Yes. A pastor yes. that believes in education. Yes. So we followed her from high school to Delaware State University, where she uh, uh, attained her um, bachelor's degree, but she didn't stop there. We followed her a little bit more where she got her master's degree just a couple years ago. You wonder why we do what we do. You wonder why these pastors, Pastor Tacey and I, and all are perfect. Because if I come, I'm bringing all the bras. When y'all come to the game, we got there. We the loudest ones in the family. Like, who's that? They'd be like, my pastor. They'd be like, for real? But now she's going to PA school. She's going up in, in Drexel, right? 30, 30, 30 market school. My character. Right? So when I say gooder and gooder, the Bible says it takes a village to raise a child. Yes. That's why I'm doing it for Cam. I, we, listen, we've been supporting him since out the shoot. And, and now he's 13, 12, 13 years old. We, we've been supporting them since they was out the shoot. You know what this is? When I say gooder and gooder, I look at people like Nisha. I look at people like Jasmine. I look at people who else is in here from way back. Can't see nobody. Um, um, Bryson. I look at I, I look at these young people, and all she's doing is taking it a whole other step yes. further. Yes. We ain't gonna never stop encouraging people. Yes. We ain't gonna never stop being there. I promise you this: if you got a child, if you got any, not even child, if it's you, yes. if you doing anything, pastor will show up yes. to support you yes. because he turned it to things like this seven years ago. Yes. So everybody, stretch your hands to her because we always do this before our students go, especially. The ones that we love, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for Rayana. We thank you for her, her fortuitousness. We ask right now, God, that you would just continue to bless her. Yes. We speak right now, Jehovah Nietzsche, be her banner, go before her yes. as she would go up into Philadelphia. Allow her studies to be well, Lord God. We ask that she would excel in her studies and socially she would adapt as well. Father, we speak success, just like you yes. said in Psalms 139. Yes. We ask right now, God, that you would just continue to bless her, keep her, and sustain her. We plead the blood of Jesus yes. and a hedge of protection over her right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Keep her safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, yes. seen and unseen, God. We ask right now, God, that you would turn her back to us yes. as a whole, decent, fulfilling young lady. We yes. bless you, honor and, and, and worship your name right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Last thing I told Ray years ago. Y'all y'all think I'm playing about this. Bible says speak a thing. That voice, that's a Disney voice. That voice, that's a commercial voice. She's going to be successful in whatever she does in her career medically. But watch what she does with that voice. God is going to open up a door. Yes. And y'all are going to remember these days. Say, I remember, right? But just hope, hope, hope you give us an autograph when you go up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some babies make me so proud. God, they make me proud.
So in their way of school or you know medical lawyers and everything else that they do is a blessing because they make an impact. Yes. As we said for the glory of God. For the glory of God. Amen. Amen. So do we have any first time visitors today? Any first time visitors? Hey. Yes. about maybe two, three weeks ago. We had those like conversations where I worked at in her building where she lived at. I don't know, it was just gravity that took to me with uh at the week. Yes. We got to talking on the second time visiting one another and all of a sudden she said, Yeah, I'm passing out a daily word. Amen. I wanted to know where her church was. Yes.
our tithes and offerings. Yes, God. It's also a covenant with the Lord. And yes. We want to honor Him with our giving. So if you need an envelope, one of our watchmen will give you an envelope. And if you choose to pay by social media, it is perfectworldministries.org. You can actually go online and do your tithes and offerings that way as well. And if you are like some of us that still use, you know, the postal service, you can also do it by mail. And it's Perfect World Ministries, P.O. Box 823, Bear, Delaware, 19701. Amen? Amen. And at Perfect World Ministries, we said God knows a chapel. Give it. And he gives seed to the soul. And we are sowing into a fertile, good ground, which is the kingdom of the Lord. Amen? Now, how many of y'all came for the word? Yeah. How many of y'all excited about the word? Yeah. So let me ask you, are you prepared yeah. for the word? Yeah. When I asked, are you prepared, did you bring your sword? Yes. Yeah. Everybody knows what the sword is? Yes. Yeah. Somebody yell out, holler back, what's the sword? Yeah. The word of That's God. That's 66 caliber. 66 caliber. We're going to lock and load. Amen? Boom, boom. If you don't have a Bible, if you don't have a Bible, please raise your That's hand. Eight. I'm always, that's, I'm always there. Uh huh. I know we do social media and we have like the iPads and the phones as well, but we also are Bible teaching, Bible reading, going and getting the word for yourself, laying hands on the word. And we want to make sure that everybody has has the Bible and the source prepared. And right now, we're also going to dismiss our children to the children's church as well. And they will be going with for the baron, all our babies. Yes. Two are going to get the word as well. Yes. Teach them up. Train them up. Train them up. Videos and have an iPad from them. They're actually learning and studying the word of God. The Bible tells us to train up a child the way that they should go when they're old. They should not depart. That's right. That's that. I've been tasked with the assignment of uh, introducing a speaker today. And the last time that I remember she ministered, she came to the power of the word. Me. And it was such a blessing, but one of the things that Came stood up. out was that she said, and I don't think I'll ever forget it, was she said that she's a work under construction. <laughs> and I thought that that was a blessing that just stuck with me. So every time I saw her, um, I thought about that, right? So what does it mean to be under construction for God? It means to successfully complete what has been started. To notice that there's a time of completion. In other words, she was saying that she was a work in progress. So when I was looking at that, I wanted to give something encouraging to my sister as well as to the body of Christ. Because what came to me was 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 27 through 29. And this was David speaking to the Lord. And the Lord speaking back to him. And he says, Lord Almighty, God of Israel, you have revealed this to your servant, saying, I will build a house for you. So your servant has found courage to pray this to you. Sovereign God, you are God. Your covenant is trustworthy. And you have promised these good things to your servant. Now be pleased to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue forever in your sight. For you, sovereign Lord, have spoken. And with your blessings, the house of your servant will be blessed forever. So as you are under a work of construction and you are in progress and it's still in the process of being processed, may the Lord continue to bless you in your house forever, faithful and just servant. So today I introduce to you to some, and for those that don't know, I'm calling them Minister Keisha. Speak it! Speak it! <laughs> Minister Keisha, Keisha, will you come forward as we prepare the word of God? As you prepare the word of God, let's give her a heart. A warm Bless us. Good morning. So, I have not been in church in what? A month or something. And um, I gotta say, I'm opening up with saying I'm 
Sean. Miss you too. Well, really, you know, I haven't been here in a while, but you know, I said this is the perfect way to come back and just to present to the Lord. So with that said, I'm going to open up in prayer. If you can bow your heads, please. Father God, we come before you today, Lord, just to thank you, Lord, for allowing all of us who are here just to be here, along with those who could not make it here. We ask that you please cover them, Father. Yes, God. We ask that you allow me to come before you, decrease me, and increase you, Father, on today. Lord, I pray that each person have their portion. And that this is the word you gave me, and they understand it, and most importantly, you understand it. Father God, we love you, we honor you, and we worship you. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 So, as some of you know, I work in a sip of grace. So, it was no surprise when I got a call from Minister Mel. <laughs> <laughs> There's the call. Exactly. And... When I got the call Good. from her, I saw she probably just wanted to pick up something for the, you know, store. She just may want me to come in early. So I answered the phone. Not that I wouldn't have. Let me just say, <laughs> if I didn't work in the store, but I answered the phone and the first thing she said was, "Tag, you're it." <laughs> yes. So at first I didn't catch on. I might have been a little slow that day. So I was like, Tag, I mean, I didn't know we were playing no game, but okay. <laughs> so um, she said, God told me it was you. And at first I thought, okay, well, maybe she's getting ready to pray for me or something. Because if you all know Elder Bell, she's going to go in. And she. If something's put on her heart as you should, yeah. if something's led, you know, to her as she should, she she can put down some prayer. Yeah. And you don't necessarily have to be in the same room with her. You don't even have to probably be in the same state with her. But when God put on your heart someone and He tells you to reach out to them, no matter what stage you are, He can go down 495, 95, Route One, the BQE in Brooklyn, and He takes. Elder Mel got all those routes to make sure that she can get to you. Yes. So either way, when she gave me the call, I was welcoming, you know, the call. So when she asked me to do this sermon today, I originally said, you know, listen, I just told Sister Tammy I'm going to be out most of August, and I didn't get a chance to tell everyone else, but I'm here to tell you I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to, to do it. She said, well, God told me it's you, sister. God told me it's you. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she said, well, let's postpone it until September. So we did just that, postponed it until September. And um, honestly, I couldn't sleep all night. Oh, I like tossed that. and I turned and I said, to God, you know, and part of my prayer, I don't know if maybe you've heard some of, some people have heard me pray, but part of my prayer is, God, please allow me to hear from you, listen to you, and most importantly, obey you. Amen. And I knew what he was telling me in my sleep. <laughs> I knew what he was telling me, but I got to tell y'all, I had a blind ear and a blind eye to everything. I'm like, Listen, just let me get some rest. This is really just getting to me. <laughs> so I got up the next day, and um, actually that night I told him, I know what I'm going to do. Now let me get some rest. So I got up the next day, and I actually called him back. Now I don't know if y'all heard, but not a lot of people will call that I know of, will call and say, can I do the sermon? And I said, listen, this has been on my, you know, back. All night, I couldn't sleep, I tossed and I turned. And I know what God told me. He didn't just tell you that, but he has been sharing that with me for months. Mm. That your turn is coming. Mm. He had been, as pastor would say, giving me little nuggets here and there. And I would try to write them down, whether it be in my phone or if I didn't have my phone, a piece of paper or so on and so forth. And I said, okay, maybe this is 
what you were telling me during the time that you gave me these nuggets and also during the time that I couldn't sleep. You were preparing me Talk to, to come before you. Talk to me. So when I called Elder, I said, I don't know if you had anybody, if you called anybody, that, I don't know if it was the next day or the day. <laughs> it was a couple of days, wasn't it? So I said, I don't know if you called anybody. I don't know if you had anything set up, but if you didn't, is it okay? But, no, sister, no, sister, I didn't call nobody because I told you, told me you. No, sister, it's you. <laughs>
time to keep, a time to cast away, a time to tear, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace.
said in my mind, my prayer, but you know sometimes the enemy can try to do what he think he can do. And switch your whole mood and your attitude up. For sure. So he was trying, the enemy was trying. I said good morning to someone. I said, hi, how are you? Absolutely nothing. Mm. I said, okay, well, maybe I can talk loud enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I saw them again. And I said, hi, good morning, how are you? Absolutely nothing. Mm. Now, I'm going to crack a little joke, but how are you going to miss over 200 pounds? Let's, you ain't no way in the world you're going to miss over 200 pounds. So I'm like, no, I know you heard me. If you didn't hear me, I know you saw me. Oh, talk to him. Okay. So. Talk to him. I said, <laughs> Listen, I, he told me to be honest. I'm, I'm just being honest. Come on. So I said, you know what? That's it. I went straight into my flesh. I said, he ain't never going to hear from me. <laughs> and he might see over two plus, but he ain't never going to hear me sing hi again. Right? That's it, I'm done. <laughs> yes, exactly. Real so, <laughs> so, I ain't talking right. again. So, the whole week, so periodically during the week, and my time with him mostly with God is in the car. Traveling. I don't Traveling. have no distractions in the car is my time with him. So I'm in the car during the week and the end of the week I had an epiphany while I'm in the car. And the epiphany was, wow. Here I am talking to this man and he didn't say nothing back to me and I immediately went to my flesh. Come on. I'm not talking to him again. Come on. And I said, Lord, sometime, just like in the beginning, you was talking to me and I didn't want to hear from you. Come on. Because I did not want to do this word. I felt nervous about this, about that. And it was all kind of, what, excuses, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I said, how would I feel if you turned your back on me and you didn't want to talk to me because I didn't talk to you that one time? Come on. Sheesh. So, Ever? I feel like sometimes we can kind of get a little weary and we can kind of get into our natural but we really have got to get into the spiritual and this is not something I like I've always said I am a work in progress and I'm still a work in progress we all and we all are. you know I feel like every day I'm struggling yep. and we all may struggle every day but prayer yes. I'm a big prayer and I feel like prayer will bring you through Amen. to the spiritual side. Decrease the natural, increase the spiritual. Come on, I like that. So, my birthday was a couple of months back. And one of my friends, she kept asking me, what do you want for your birthday? My sister too, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. I said, I don't know. My girlfriend ended up telling me, well, what size shoe you wear? What size this you wear? I'm like, I, it all depends on the maker. Mm -hmm. So where are you going to go to get this particular item from? What are you going to buy me? So long story short, she said, I'm just going to go ahead and get you a bag. So I said, okay, that's fine. You can... You can get me a bag or you can get whatever you want, but if you get anything outside of that, I have to know what it is. Whether it be a pair of pants, where you're going to, whether it be a pair of shoes, because that shoe got to fit yes. right depending on who the maker is. 
that top, it has to fit right depending on where you purchase it from. But I'm here to tell y'all, there's only one maker that has a one size fit all. Come on, come on. And that maker is God. And to be obedient to him, you can wear his armor no matter what size you are. And you can walk by faith and not by what you see sight. Come on. So I, I won't be before you guys long. And I have to tell you, when you went away, I was a little scared to fly. So I told Liz, I said, hey, make sure, because he booked the tickets, make sure when you get on this flight that Marcus is sitting with one of us. So he said, go on, Marcus was sitting with me, but coming back, he's not. I said, nope, he's done the age, he got to sit with somebody, and he got to sit with me. Now that's it, and he's going to have to call, talk to somebody, but he got to sit with me, or whatever. And here's Marcus. I want to sit with him, bro. <laughs> I, we looked at the tickets and it just so happened that he was actually sitting with me, but it just got it confused. But the comfort really honestly behind us was not for Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> the comfort was for me. <laughs> but here I am, I'm supposed to be like helping him if he was scared, but he didn't know in turn that he was helping me. So each flight, whether we was coming or going, each time, I grabbed his hand. <laughs> and he said, bro, you okay? I said, bro is good. Now any other time I don't like to call me bro, but bro was good today. <laughs> but um Sometimes we don't know, I say that to say, sometimes we don't know, sometimes we need comfort. It may seem like you got it all together. You may walk around and it may seem like, you know, you're not scared and this is what I was portraying to him, that I'm not intimidated, I'm okay. But there's nothing wrong with being nervous. There's nothing wrong with being scared. There's nothing wrong with that. We just all have to make sure when we do that, we go to God. There is comfort that he sends through other people to you that you may not even know of. Right. There's blessings in other people that he sends to you. Right. So I say that and I mean, we really have to get ourselves in a place of being obedient. And there is a time to be obedient. Yep. And there is a time to start. Come here, baby. Oh, y'all having a good time over there? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say <laughs> And there is a time to start. To start. Like the whole outside is nice, but it's a time to start unpacking something. Mm, so. Gotta let go of some stuff. Exactly. Minister, you said it just right. You have to let go sometimes. Yes. So, but sometimes we compartmentalize. We don't open it all. Yeah, all the way. Oh, yeah, you can write. You good. Sometimes we start compartmentalizing things because sure. I know I, I'm a master of something. Somebody made me mad. I'm going to put you in this pocket. Mm -hmm. Another person made me mad. I got you over here in this pocket. Mm -hmm. Somebody else do something to me. Well, I got my hand. I know how far I can go with you. But you ain't gonna get 100% of me. I'm gonna give you about 20 and that's it. I'm on my way. Talk to him. That's real. That's real. So. That's real. When you start unpacking, originally, I told Wiz, I said, babe, go get that. Go outside and go get me some bricks. Mm. And as usual, sometimes, I ain't going to under the bus, but I am. So as usual, <laughs> sometimes, he don't want to do what I asked him to do. Just like Marcus, he don't listen. But anyway, <laughs> he said, why do you want bricks? Bricks are so heavy. I said, it's part of my sermon tomorrow. He said, well, why can't you just 
you something else, you ain't gonna be able to carry it. Mm. And I said, that's the point. You ain't gonna be able to carry it. Right there. All right, he didn't know what I prepared because I didn't present it to him. But I come before all of you to say that it is time to start unpacking those bricks.
and God's gonna have to deal with this. But when you put on, put on fast, it was given to me, I gotta say, I see you over there laughing. So, Talk to him. this morning, women have to put on certain things, and that's right, garments. Come on, talk Girl, to yeah, him. undergarments, girls and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Be real, baby. That's now, you can call them. You can call them whatever you want to call them. So this morning, I'm so nervous. And I got a lot of them. So I said, yes. So I said, you know what? I'm trying to look for one, and I'm in the drawer. Nobody's here to help me. And sometimes I get so angry, I'm like, well, I know they took my stuff, but then I feel like they ain't help me. Obedience. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
And I thank you all for listening to me. As I said, I wouldn't be before you long, but this is what he put on me throughout the months. And as I was writing it, I didn't know. I mean, I have it in this book. I have it written in this book. I have some written here. And I said, Lord, you're going to have to help me organize all of this. Because right now, I ain't know if he was playing hopscotch with me, double dutch, or what. But we got to line this thing up and we have to prepare a four-day meeting.
we're going to pray and we're going to believe God. That means you got to be in your word to know is like, what the exchange is. The yoke is like, and you are broken hearted. Yeah. You can't tell me God can't give you a new heart because my yeah. Bible says he will take that heart of flesh and, and make it new. Give him word. Give him word. Give him word. Give him word. You understand what I'm saying? Give word. But you won't know it if you ain't in the book. Come on, you won't know it. Right. You don't see it. So you have nothing to, nothing to, nothing to tell the enemy, so he will flee. Don't coexist with these things. You are so much greater, so much greater, and God has so much better for us. Yoke is easy. Right? Yoke is light. So we're going to pray. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for your daughter who has walked in obedience before us today. She has spoken out of her, the abundance of her heart, uh, sharing in transparency all of the things that you have ministered to her over the course of the last month. And God, we thank you that even by the demonstration that she showed today, God, that we will go to those places where we have packed things away things we have compartmentalized. We will empty our luggage. We will empty our baggage. We will empty our pockets. We will empty our hearts. We will empty our minds. We will, we will empty our spirits. We will empty our souls of all of those things that don't glorify you but cause us to be in bondage. So we cast down fear. We cast down anxiety. We cast down depression. We cast down unforgiveness. We cast down anger. We cast down thoughts of suicide, attempts of suicide. We cast down brokenheartedness, God. And we cast down the fear. We cast down worry. We cast down uh, grief. Jesus. Perpetual grief. We cast it down in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And we lose your power, we lose your love, we lose your sound mind, we lose your liberty, we lose your joy, yes, we lose your oil of praise and the, uh, oil of joy and garment bar of praise. Yes, we lose life, we lose liberty, we lose purity, we lose grace, we lose love. Oh, release your people, God. Let them walk in the fullness of your word. Let them experience it as never before, God. Make them mindful. Keep us mindful of the things that don't belong to us. And make us bold enough to refuse to carry it. And trust you enough to know that what you have is so much better for us. So Lord, touch everyone under the sound of my voice. And God, we ask that you would come in and that you would cleanse and you would remove and that you would renew and that you would refresh each and every one under the sound of my voice. And Lord, in exchange, speak to them and give them the thing that you have that they can stand on, that they can trust, that they can believe that will give them new life and new grace and a greater anointing. So we thank you for all of these things, God, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. And all of God's people said, Amen. 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 So you may be seated. Um,